Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is Cagliotti reaction. In this reaction, tocyl hydrazone of aldehyde or ketone reacts with hydride donors like sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride to produce corresponding alkane. The overall changes in this reaction are removal of tocyl hydroxide group and addition of two hydrogen atoms to the carbons bearing R1 and R2. Thus, using this reaction, we can convert aldehyde to CH3 and keto group to CH2, just like in the case of Wolf Kistner reduction. For example, reduction of tocyl hydrazone of cyclohexanone in the presence of sodium borohydride in methanol to cyclohexane, and reduction of tocyl hydrazone of 1 naphthaldehyde with lithium aluminum hydride in dioxin to 1 methyl naphthalene. Mechanism of Cagliotti reaction. This is the tocyl hydrazone. In the case of basic hydride donors like LiLH4, deprotonation occurs that results liberation of hydrogen gas and formation of tocyl hydrazone anion. Hydride attack with concomitant elimination of sulfinate group keeps azo anion. This azo anion eliminates nitrogen gas to produce carbonion and this carbonion finally gets protonated to produce alkane product. Hutchins modification. In Hutchins modification, tocyl hydrazones are allowed to react with mild hydride donors like sodium cyanoborohydride in the presence of catalytic amount of acid like paratoluene sulfonic acid in DMF and sulfolane under heating condition to produce alkane. One thing which is to be noted is that aromatic aldehydes or ketones are not effectively reduced by this method. Mechanism under Hutchins condition Tocyl hydrazone in the presence of acid catalyst gets protonated to produce this protonated tocyl hydrazone. The protonated CN double bond becomes so reactive that it can be attacked by a mild hydride transferring agent like sodium cyanoborohydride. Hydride transfer like this generates N alkyl tocyl hydrazide which eliminates paratoluene sulfenic acid to produce alkyl diazine. Now this alkyl diazine removes nitrogen gas to produce product. Reduction of alpha beta unsaturated tocyl hydrazones using Hutchins modification. Tocyl hydrazones of alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone when allowed to react under Hutchins modified condition means reduction with sodium cyanoborohydride in the presence of catalytic amount of acid in DMF and sulfolane under heating condition produce alkene with the migration of double bond. Here we can see that in the reactant the double bond was at the carbon to which R1 was attached while in the product due to migration of double bond it is at the carbon to which R2 is attached. If we talk about the stereochemical outcome of this reaction in case of tocyl hydrazones of alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes there is no question of stereochemistry because R2 is equal to H. But in the case of tocyl hydrazones of alpha beta unsaturated ketones, E alkene is selectively formed. Mechanism for the reduction of alpha beta unsaturated tocyl hydrazones under Hutchins modified condition. Alpha beta unsaturated tocyl hydrazones in the presence of acid catalyst gets protonated to produce this protonated species. Due to the presence of positive charge on the nitrogen, the CN double bond becomes more reactive towards the attack by even 
a mild hydride transferring agent like sodium cyanoborohydride. Hydride transfer like this produces N allylic tosyl hydazide, which eliminates paratoluene sulfenic acid to produce this allylic diazine. This allylic diazine undergoes 1,5 hydride migration from nitrogen to carbon to generate the alkene with migrated double bond. Now we will have some examples of reduction of alpha beta unsaturated tosyl hydrazones under Hutchins condition. Tosyl hydrazone of cyclohexenyl methyl ketone when treated with sodium cyanoborohydride in the presence of catalytic amount of HCl in DMF and sulfolane produces ethylidine cyclohexane with 79% yield. Tosyl hydrazone of cinnamaldehyde when allowed to react under the same reaction conditions produces allyl benzene with 98% yield. Let's take an interesting example in which reduction of compound A with NABD4 in acetic acid gives deuterated dye in B while the same compound when reduced with NABH4 in deuterated acetic acid gives isomeric dye in C. Let's first discuss formation of compound B. NABD4 reacts with acetic acid to produce deuterated sodium triacetoxyborohydride. Compound A in the presence of acetic acid gets protonated to produce this protonated species 1. Due to the presence of positive charge on the nitrogen, the CN double bond becomes more reactive towards the attack by even deuterated sodium triacetoxyborohydride. Deuterite transfer like this produces species 2 which eliminates paratoluene sulfenic acid to produce this diazine 3. This diazine 3 undergoes 1,5 hydride migration from nitrogen to carbon to generate compound B. Formation of compound C from A. NABH4 reacts with deuterated acetic acid to produce sodium triacetoxyborohydride. Compound A in the presence of deuterated acetic acid gets deuterated at NH to give compound A prime. In the presence of deuterated acetic acid, A prime gets deuterated to produce this species 1 prime. Due to the presence of positive charge on the nitrogen, the CN double bond becomes more reactive towards the attack by sodium triacetoxyborohydride. Hydride transfer like this produces species 2 prime which eliminates paratoluene sulfenic acid to produce this diazine 3 prime. This diazine 3 prime undergoes 1,5 deuteride migration from nitrogen to carbon to generate compound C. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video.